Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we're challenging ourselves to make an arepa ice cream sandwich. Ni helado de arepa. What? Arepa no puede ser un postre. Nunca. I am from Venezuela and I love arepas. It was my daily bread before corruption took place. But what's an arepa? An arepa basically is like a corn-based bread. It's very popular in Venezuela, Colombia, and Panama, and basically all Latin America because we all love corn. It just has different names. I have seen so many videos featuring weird ice cream flavors on YouTube that I decided, why not? We have no idea how this is gonna turn out, so please don't follow the recipe until the end. Of course, I cannot do this crazy thing alone, so I have to call the whitest person I know. My friend and food producer, Tess. Hi, uh, my name is Tess Middlebrook and I am a food producer and comedian. I've been cooking for the last 13 years. I'm not gonna tell you my age, just know it's a long time. I am the whitest person, actually. If the sun hits me at the right angle, you can see my heart beating. <laughs> um, so I actually did make arepas last night to test them out. They're very delicious and I'm here to have fun with arepas. Arepa, arepa, reminds me of a western story. No, we cannot use that, not copyright. I can't believe you wanna make arepa ice cream. Arepa, arepa, arepa. arepa. Right. What I had in mind for this project is how can we make an ice cream out of an arepa okay. and how can we use the arepa as a sandwich for an ice cream because the arepa is like so flexible we put so many things inside I wonder if we can put like cheese ice cream like avocado ice cream I know that uh, cheese is a common pairing in arepas right maybe we make an arepa ice cream with cheese and a little bit of corn and then make an avocado ice cream and then we use two arepas as a sandwich I yeah. think this might work let's try it girl oh. double up uh, uh. What do we need to do? What's the first step? Right. Um, first, we have to infuse the arepas into the ice cream base. All right. And to get some inspiration, we got some Venezuelan rum. Oh, oh wow, okay, wow. It's 9 a.m. and she's getting busy. <laughs> and we have these beautiful Turkish coffee mugs. You want me to help you? Some 1,000. Chin chin. Chin chin. It's good though. It's really good, yeah. It's Venezuelan rum. It tastes like uh, I feel. There's two ways to make arepas. You can either use the flour or you can make them from scratch with sweet corn. Right now we're gonna use the flour because guys, we're making two ice creams in an arepa sandwich. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. And you're gonna do two cups of... Uh, Why do we have that wrong? Two cups of right. flour, yeah. You can do the arepas either with water or milk. We're gonna do them with milk. I love how my family cooks because they're just eyeballing everything. And when you ask for a recipe, it's just like, until you see. How do you say that in Spanish? Hasta que lo veas. Hasta que lo veas. Spanish class with Vanessa and Tess. <laughs> Two and a half cups of milk. Time to get dirty. You're gonna do it with your hands? Yeah. How do you were thinking of doing it with fork? Okay, sure. We're gonna add a little bit of sugar, which okay. we should have added already in okay. the. Okay, well. I forgot to make it up. So you add a little sugar to yours. I didn't know that. And salt. Would have been That's good nice. to know when I shot my vlog. So we need a little bit of butter. Hold on, let me just go find it inside the ceramic dish. <laughs> okay, ready? Ready. Oh my gosh, you formed it! Girl, I've been doing arepas for like 21 years. The thing with arepas is that you shouldn't let it dry. We have some butter on the pan there. I really love this corn flour. Look, nothing on your hand. I don't know what she's doing. Fried arepa. Learning how to get rid of my accent. You won't need to teach you how to speak southern. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. <laughs> you guys know me making fried arepas. Arepas? Oh, cut. Beautiful. Maravita. I'm so glad we did this. I think we should let this cook for about three and a half minutes on this side. All right. Pull them off, let them cool. Here we have our half and half that I put the arepas that we made in there. And then we have our milk and I put the arepas that we made in there as well. And that's going to help infuse our ice cream flavor with arepa flavor. So we have our eggs, which is a typical ice cream ingredient. Then we have our sugar. Then we have corn butter, which is just a simple amalgamation of sugar and fat and corn. I did blend a little bit of it and then kept the rest of it whole kernel so you have that texture in the ice cream nice. and then we have our cheese roux that is also made from corn flour we're just getting it all in of course we have a little bit of salt because every ice cream needs salt now we combine these so you're gonna hold this oh my god it smells already like that roasted corn like that arepa i can smell it now we're going to strain them okay i'm gonna get as much liquid out of this because this is gonna be our ice cream base yeah. sounds like a camel pee I pee like that. Are we leaving like some of the arepa here for texture? We can if you want, like that much. So now our pan is pretty hot. You wanna go ahead and, okay. Oh. Then you wanna add the sugar. Isn't it weird that we're using this as a stove? It is a little strange, but I think it works. Sorry, we don't have a budget. 
Yeah. And then we're gonna add our cheese flavor. We'll add about half of it and then we'll taste it. Which cheese are we using here? That was cheddar cheese. Speaking of cheese, the last show I worked on, I made a 17 cheese ice cream, which was, I thought impossible, but it was quite delicious. And we're gonna add a little bit of the corn butter. It's pretty strong in corn flavor, so I don't wanna add too much. Quick tip in cooking is that you can always add more, but if you add too much, you gotta start over. So you can keep stirring. What we're gonna do is add our egg yolks, and this will help our ice cream set up. Essentially, what we're doing is we're making a hot custard, and then we're gonna cool it and spin it, because all ice cream is is a custard. Mmm, it's so good. It's like, it's so corn forward. I can feel that about. I think maybe we should add a little bit more cheese. All right. Okay, just a little bit more. Is this gonna make it like salty? It's gonna make it a little more cheesy because there is a little cheese flavor in there. It's kind of muted. Okay. Forgot to add a little bit of the salt and that'll help bring up the flavor in the corn. Um. Mmm. Yeah. Better, better. We're double dipping, but it's okay because we know each other. Quite Don't double dip with strangers. A little bit better, no? Mm. Ooh! Guys, okay, I came from Puerto Ordaz and I'm doing it, but in Los Angeles. What the f How long we need to be doing this? Probably about 30 more minutes. We'll yeah. stir this and it'll, okay. it'll thicken and then we'll let it cool and then we'll spin it into ice cream. Okay, something I haven't told you. Okay, ready? Is that somebody actually is gonna come and taste this flavor. What? Right? Yeah, we actually have guests come to here to taste whatever that we make. Dude, I, I have no idea. The last thing I need is people judging me on something I'm pulling literally out of my I'm sorry for the visual, but luckily they're gonna be Americans, so. No, the people that are coming are actually Venezuelans. Oh my God, why didn't you tell me? Okay, we put that butter in the freezer and we're gonna let it chill for how long? About 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Just okay. to speed up the chilling process. Two and a half cups of milk. Half a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, three avocados, and the juice of half of lime. First you're gonna take avocados and cut them in half. What you wanna do is add about half of the milk to the avocado and then we're gonna spin it in the cuisine. There you go, good job. I'm Wait, gonna dog you're, this. Okay. All right. Perfect. Oh my god. Nice and smooth. Now we're gonna add this to the pan. Okay, turn this on. And we're gonna add all of our ingredients. And uh, that's it. That's it? That's the ice cream? That's the ice cream. Oh. We're gonna stir it up, then we're gonna let it chill. Then we're gonna spin it into la crema, the ice cream. We're gonna pour the ice cream base into the ice cream maker. The moment of truth. Let it spin for about an hour. Yay! Okay, so we put the ice cream in the freezer and we're gonna leave it there for overnight. All right, and then what are we gonna do? Then we're gonna make our arepa ice cream sandwiches. Guys, it's the second day and we're gonna try to make a plantain sauce because that's the way that you eat an arepa with cheese, avocado, and plantain. Bam! I totally agree. You are a Venezuelan, so I defer to you. Okay, what do we need for that? So now we have to top our plantain. I'm gonna actually slice my plantain pretty thin because it's a topper as opposed to a featured ingredient. Artisanal ice cream sandwich has a accoutrement. What the f is that? That's French. You know, um, a little bit extra. The extra mile. A little uh, bit extra. You mean yeah. accoutrement? Oh, she speaks French. This is gonna be a super heavy ice cream because we have cheese, we have avocado, and now we're gonna do like a plantain topping. This is true. We didn't tie our hair the whole time, so I really hope we don't find any hair. <laughs> we're just gonna caramelize this sugar. We're using the griddle for everything. So if you're willing to donate kitchenware, please link it bio. We're making this sauce, but we haven't even checked the ice cream. So whatever that it is, it's gonna be because we have people coming. But we're having fun here. We're having fun here, guys. Yeah, guys. Send it in my ice cream. Who's creating this shit in the internet right now? No one. Us. Maybe it's not good. Maybe that's why people are not creating it. <laughs> so we're going to add our plantains so they get nice and caramelly. And I'm going to take the butter and I'm just going to put it over some of these caramel peaks here. Nice. Oh, this is looking pretty good. I just think we should maybe flambe. Flambe. Yeah. And what are we going to use? The Venezuelan rum that we've been drinking. Oh, there you go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is a sign that you're actually cooking the right way. No one is dying here. This is normal. <laughs> Let's bring the ice cream. <laughs> I'm so nervous. It looks like an ice cream. This looks like more like a sorbet-ish. Oh, get it. Oh my God, the people are here. Quiet on set. Hello? En la puerta. One person is here. Okay, so it's an ice cream. <laughs> I was trying to heat it up to release it. I'm a professional. <laughs> Thank you. 
what started as, you know, and a crazy idea is actually taking a lot of shape. Guys, this is our first styling attempt. We have to put our hat on it. Me encanta las arepas, sí. ¿Sabes lo que es una arepa, Javi? Sí sé lo que es una arepa, amigo mío de Santi. Tenía una novia venezolana que me preparaba arepas y están muy ricas. ¿Cómo te gustan las arepas? Mi arepa favorita era, antes de ser vegana, eh, la arepa peluda. La reina muy pillada, que tiene el pollo y aguacate así triturado con un poquito de mayonesa ahí. Lo único es que como ando ahorita en una, en una dieta porque tengo que bajar como 20 libras, no he comido arepas como desde hace dos semanas. <risa> Nosotros aquí tratamos de crear un helado de arepa. Ajá. <risa> un helado de arepa. What? ¿Un helado de arepa? Es como la, el último helado que se me pudo haber ocurrido en la vida que se pueda hacer. La arepa no puede ser un postre. Nunca. En Venezuela es un plato fuerte, la puedes comer de desayuno, almuerzo, cena, lo que tú quieras. Pero ahora también de postre. Imagínate tú, voy a comer arepa todo el día. Pero a ver, explícame una cosa. La arepa es salada. Sí. Entonces, ¿cómo va a ir un helado de arepa? Yo también pregunto exactamente lo mismo. This is your arepa ice cream sandwich with avocado oh, ice cream and then arepa ice cream with corn and cheese and caramelized platanos. Enjoy, guys. How did you do this? This actually looks pretty good. Yeah. Se ve genial. Creo que de pana quiero probarlo. No, ya. es como súper raro, pero está bien. Me gusta probar cosas. Bueno, los indamigos que no, están. No, no, no. Yo soy venezolano aquí, papá. Girl, you better get that in your mouth. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 ¡Pum! <laughs> ¡Dude! Mm. You, you wanna share it? <laughs> ¡Ay, mira! ¡Toma, pruébalo! <laughs> ¡Wow, bro! ¡Thank you! <laughs> ¡Sí me gusta! I think we need to get the patent for this. I think it's really good. Oh, wow. Right? <laughs> I know. Nunca me lo imaginé. Sí, me dio como un flashback de mi infancia, te lo juro. It's like the corn, the avocado, the, the plantain, everything just complements. I feel like I'm actually eating an arepa. Siento la arepa, eh, obviamente. Sí, se siente. A mí me encantó. Es lo, yo creo que es lo más raro que he probado nunca, pero está muy bueno. Oye, o sea, tienes que cuidar el, la receta de esto, ¿viste? Porque me voy a hacer millonario. Se te va a perder un día de esto. Son como ingredientes que no te esperarías que son dulces ni fríos. Y sin embargo, sí es un helado, ¿sabes? ¿Qué? I knew we can make an ice cream out of an arepa for the people who didn't believe in me. Those people. We envision it, we create it, we have the people taste it, and like they love it. I couldn't believe it. They take second bites. You know it's always a good sign because your mouth starts salivating and you're like, your brain says, take another bite. Friend. They were, they were all eating, friends. Vamos a comernos ahora. Bye.